Sharky King wata wama mulira. Yuma lipa ak inko kun. Ta uma mo tenya go to do biti. Ta scrunky to pat slimo. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. But why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. But there must be some mistake. These builders must have been an extinct people, though it is strange there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us.
How can I help? Then I suggest... If the droid is correct, then we must complete the tasks in the proof. Thank <laughs> you. 
be what Revan and Malak found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malak must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. it. Must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine, and here's Manan, but there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge, and some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Starforge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun.
How can I help? It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. I, I don't know. Believe me, I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. What would you like to know? I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. As you wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins. We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Starforge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Starforge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban. And we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge.
The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all-too-familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned, Juhani, to the Order. For this you deserve the highest praise. Ta <laughs> Tolbabank, wale Uganda nanu chunchut. Mole shia punka, mole wana chikne. Pa mule slimo, puta dada nanga kumbist, mule rabest. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule, tonking ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kune mule rabes. Tong hait wam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yuma lita kuto tun. Chila mulane nin du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mule ra. Ka chikun ita haudonga. I king kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo po dona rundi hodunga ku hunka be. Ta kung ju stak miki grabul mogo kachichu ita po dunga dolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut mogi sha punga bola wana chikne ba mule slimo po dada nanga kumbist mule rundi di hodunga ku hunka be. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chi kun ita haudonga i king kuno ba mule ra chi kun slimo po dona rundi haudonga ku hunkabe mucho shak pa khat Ki ye no no dama baole rachikun. Runda di hotonga kun hankabi. 
ונא קון בז צ'ינג פלה מולה, טונקין בא נונו טק, טוק. טקום ג'וס טאח מיקי גרבל מוגו, קצ'יצ'ו איתה בודונגה, טול בבנק ולא אוגנדה נאלו צ'וצ'וט, מוגשי הפונקה בולה וואנה צ'יקנה, טון הייט וואם ג'יג'י ג'ום לומפה, ניטה פועה טיקיטו, טול פאדה בונק ולא אוגנדה נאלו צ'וצ'וט. קאצ'י צ'וי איתא דון דונגה. יומא ליטא קוטא דון. קאצ'י קון איתא הודונגה. אי קין קונו במולי רצ'י קון. סלימו פה דונה. רונדי הודונגה קו הונקה בה. ווי איתא נאן דייתא. וואטא יומא וואמא הוהו נדקטק. השוטום ניפטוגה. וואנוק. רונדה די הודונגה קון הונקה בי, וואנה קון בז צ'ינג פלה מולה, טונקין בא נונו טק, טוב נינצ'ה. קאצ'י קון איתא הודונגה, אי קין קונו בא מולה רצ'י קון, סלימו פה דונה רונדה. קאצ'י קון איתא הודונגה, אי קין קונו בא מולה רצ'י קון. סלימו פה דונה, רונדי הודונגה קו הונקה בה. ווי איתא נאן דייתא, וואטא יומא וואמא הוהו נדקטק. השוטום ניפטוגה, וואנה קוס בי צ'ינג פלה מולה דונקה. רונדה די הודונגה קון הונקה בי. וואנה קון בז צ'ינג פלה מולה דונקין בא נונו טק. טוק נינצ'ה טוקון מולי רבס. קאצ'י קון איתא הודונגה, אי קין קונו בא מולי רצ'י קון. סלימו פה דונה, רונדי הודונגה קו הונקה בה. רונדה די הודונגה קון הונקה בי. וואנה קון בז צ'ינג פלה מולה, טונקין בא נונו טק. טוק נינצ'ה טוקון מולי רבס. ווי איתא נאן דייתא. וואטא יומא וואמא הוהו נדקטק. השוטום ניפטוגה. וואנה קוס בי צ'ינג פלה מולה דונקה. קאצ'י קון איתא הודונגה, אי קין קונו בא מולי רצ'י קון. סלימו פה דונה, רונדי הודונגה קו הונקה בה. קאצ'י קון איתא הודונגה, אי קין קונו בא מולי רצ'י קון. סלימו פה דונה, רונדי הודונגה קו הונקה בה. How can I help? No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are... Well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I... I I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected, so connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. I was referring to the bond we share, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves? Most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Now, are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Good. On which planet were you born? A 
excellent. The current age is... Yes. Well, the truth is I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this.